We just topped off with water. We're leaving this hotel where we were able to camp in the parking lot in Liberia. Where are we headed today, Kurt? What's on the adventure for today? Well, Snow told me they didn't call them cascadas here. I would call it a waterfall. What are they called? I don't remember. <laughs> so for now, they're waterfalls. Not, or cascadas or this other the new, new word. word. But anyway, we're headed there today. I think it's a fairly short drive, so it should be fun. Let's go see a waterfall in Costa Rica. So we have pulled up to the entrance. What we have read is there are two entrances to this area. You can get to it through a private land where they charge you, I don't know, like $4 or something. And this is more the national park type entrance. And it is $7 each here. But what we are checking is how far the walk is from where we have to park. We have read that it is a lot closer and shorter of a hike, which is good for me. So if that's the case, we will pay the extra $3. So let's find out. So we paid at the park. What did it cost per person, Kurt? It was 4,000 colones, so about $7. All right, $7 each to get in here. You drive one kilometer down the gravel road and you come to the parking area. The lady says it is 100 meters down some steps, which will be challenging for me, but I'm going to go try it. So we're going to get parked and go swimming. Right, Kurt? Right on, right on, right on. Con tus labios rosados Yo me muero Por una prueba de placer Siempre que estoy a tu lado Lo que siento Nadie más lo podrá saber Vamos y sin censura Yo te hago todo a ti dulzura Que paso en tu yo solo cuenta todo Y si tú quieres te pone a buscar Como tú lo mueves a pa pam pam, haciendo locura en la mañana. Si alguien te pregunta no ha pasado nada, solo amaneciste en mi cama. Dale besame, ven y atrápame. Hagamos jueguitos que de chiquito no pude hacer. Dale besame, ven y atrápame. Que Ah. Woo! All right, let's head back to the van. Just a little teeny tiny mini exploration. It's some cool caves. 
better YouTube. So a lot of times when we get to these places, we really don't know what to expect. And I think Snow's done some pretty good research and she expected that this would just be a little half there. I always kind of think when we get to these places, they can turn into sort of a day of excursions before we get back in the van and go to the next spot. But in this case, this is a great place to come and hang out for a half a day, lay out your blankets, and just listen to the waterfall, enjoy the nature. It's a short walk, so that's pretty convenient. There is quite a few people that come here, I think, do because it's proximity to everything else, including the short walk. So a lot of tours come here, but nonetheless, a beautiful spot in nature. I'm gonna head back up to the van. I gave Snow a head start, and then we're gonna jump in the van and head off to our next spot, and hopefully our camp spot. And I'm not sure if we exactly know where that is. All right, guys, I surprised Snow with these pickled vegetables. What do you think she's gonna think? Let's find out. All right, guys. So, Snow, I got pickled vegetables. Now, these things have, it looks like they have some peppers, maybe some chilies, some cebollas or onions, ajo, garlic, and, but they're pickled peppers. What do you think? Are you gonna like these? They got cauliflower, carrots. I guess we'll find out. We're gonna find out, guys. I think they might be a little spicy. Well, then Kurt will eat them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, Snow just spotted, I think they're called coyotes, coyotes, but they kind of look coates but they look, look at right there. So they look kind of like a little raccoon, anteater, and they got that super long bushy tail. And they're cool. And they're cool. And it's always, it's always awesome to see the animals in the nature. So we just pulled out of that national park where we've already had two wildlife sightings for the day. The first one, teeny tiny cute little fish at the waterfall that I hope I got on the GoPro. The second one was the cool raccoon anteater critter that I think is a coati or a coyote. Anyway, it's cool. So we spotted one of those, but now we are leaving the waterfall, which is like a little third day, third of a day trip. Not even a half day, right, Kurt? Yeah, just a little short little trip. Swim. A beautiful place. A lot of tourists, but still beautiful and worth stopping off. But yeah, it's time to go. Nice and refreshing. So now we are leaving this place. We're headed up into the, the higher higher elevations. Higher elevations. We're headed towards the volcanoes where, what's up there, Kurt? Well, cooler air is up there. Yes. But snow is super excited about hot springs. There's hot springs up there. Agua termales. We are headed to some hot springs. Let's go. Plaza de Toros. So we think that's probably where they have bullfighting. Not something I would actually want to go see but it is looks like something they do here in this town it's on the horizon you can see the volcanoes starting to jet up into the air that's where we're headed there's a bunch of them up here a whole row of volcanoes I think there's like a row of five or seven of them maybe so Maybe we'll try to learn the volcanoes somewhere down the road before we leave Costa Rica. Go through them so you can kind of see this ridge. But some of them are really popular for all their adventure activity. We are definitely climbing an elevation. Nice, slow, and steady rise. What's good about that is it won't be so hot up here because we're going to a hot springs. You see the Tumalo 100 meters up? Yeah. Campo, there is a campground back in there. Yeah, I couldn't find any information on that. Alright, we've bypassed the more resorty in adventure park destination. type places because you guys know we prefer get a little bit off the beaten path so we just turned off the main road we're headed down here to where we hope 
will be a nice little hot springs that we can camp at. Go into these trees? I don't know. I think you just kind of park off to the side and figure out where to go. Kurt is going to scope it out. I think we have arrived. We'll see what we figure out. So, it's Chase Mill per persona for tonight and tomorrow. So, 6,000 colones for $10 per person. So, it's going to be $20 use the facilities today and tomorrow. Do you want to park? Let's do it. I said let's park in the shade. Okay. We got to be in the shade. All right. All right. We are parked up here at this hot springs and we waited for it to cool off a little bit it's about four o'clock so kurt's editing i'm gonna walk up there probably get in the hot springs and i don't know if y'all hear that but somewhere back in there is how are monkeys so let's go check this place out hi buddy <laughs> <laughs> so they feed the iguanas guys they came over to the van to tell us hey buddy you got polka dotted feet <laughs> ah oh <okay>, gracias <laughs> Oh, he's running. <laughs> oh, the big one, Grande. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, mm. <laughs> Como te llamas? Sofia. Sofia. Mucho gusto. Look at him. He's, he's full. <laughs> Gracias. I love it. They're over there playing with the iguanas. It's great. I love it. There's tons of birds around. Lots of bird noises. It's super peaceful here, guys. Really pretty. I'm kind of glad Kurt stayed in the van. Get away from him for a little bit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe. There's <laughs> a big camera. I can't get up in the face. I gotta go get the big camera. Kurt came out to join me. Ruined my peacefulness, but that's okay. And as soon as he got in the water, we heard the sound of the toucan. They sound kind of like frogs. We both heard it at the same time, turned around, and they're literally a hundred feet from us. Kurt was like, I gotta go get the big camera. I'm like, no. Take a minute and at least get them with the pocket so you guys can hear them. So hopefully y'all can hear the little frog noise. And now hopefully he gets back with the big camera in time. Or he's going to be mad at me because he missed them. They're right here by us. It's awesome. Oh, it's a keel build to can. I got some amazing shots of them. They're two. They live up there and they nest up there. Now they're not going to lay their eggs for about another month. But the owner says the babies play around right there and all that stuff. 
so we can't see those, but these we got a good mm. shot of. It's amazing. Right here behind us in this wonderful little hot tub, right under a volcano. It's like we're dreaming, Kurt. They had beautiful colors. I know, I saw them. And what I'm super excited about is that all of our people out here watching, they're going to get to hear them. Yeah. It's so cool. All right, guys. We're going to enjoy the hot tub some more with two cans playing behind us. So he said the pattern for the monkeys needs to come right across the van. <laughs> so at some point in time tonight or tomorrow, they'll probably do that. All right. So the toucan nest is right up there in that tree. Literally right by our van. Sitting there in the van finishing up with breakfast. And I believe they're cappuccino monkeys. I'm not sure. They definitely have the white faces like Snow was talking about. But all of a sudden they just came running by. They were immediately over the van on these trees. Stuff started dropping on the van. Hopped out, grabbed the camera. I think we startled them a bit. But also I think it's their normal pattern. The owner said it's the, the normal pattern for them to kind of move through here at some point during the day. And they just did, but it was pretty cool. Always love the monkeys. We're still here at Agua Celeste. And I gotta tell you, this place is awesome. Uh, we've met the, the family here that, that owns and takes care of the place and they are absolutely beautiful. Gave us all sorts of tips on all the best places to go in Costa Rica. So we got the inside tip on that. But it's about 5.30 in the morning and I've been getting up early every morning since we've been here to go look for these super cool birds. And for those of you who don't know, Snow and I came to Costa Rica for the first time probably about 10 or 11 years ago, I think about 10 years ago. And it was our first eco vacation together. And to be honest with you, we, well, I <laughs> learned the love of birding and animal watching from my parents. They had big cameras and have been doing that for years. And so I borrowed one of their cameras and I bought this big lens you guys see me with a lot. And we went down to Costa Rica and saw some amazing birds. So this is sort of a reunion on many levels, but this place is beautiful and the birds are everywhere and they're gorgeous, but I'm looking for a specific kind of bird. And I was talking to the owner and he told me that 99% of the people who come to look for these birds never even see them. They have a real unique song. I probably already talked to you about them. But today's the last day I get to go look for them. So I have the bug spray on and the long sleeves on because I've made that mistake in this jungle before. So hopefully we'll find them, guys. We'll see. So guys, these are honeybees. And they're from Costa Rica, so, but they're really small honeybees. You can see some of them are coming back with pollen. Loaded up. There they go. They're taking pollen to the hive. The trees are moving up there a little bit, but I think it's the wind. Hey guys, I can't talk much, but I need you to listen. There's a, there's a whistle in the back. I'll get closer to it, but it's something like that. You'll hear it. That's the mannequin. Thank <laughs> you. 
at that tree guys <laughs> so it looks like a ficus tree but kind of the roots have split into a big V and the main trunk doesn't start to way up there <laughs> So I've really been enjoying the sounds of the nature. You can hear birds everywhere. They're just so stealth. But I hope you're enjoying the sounds. Sometimes people don't have a very good attention span and don't like listening. So let me know. Did you like hearing the sounds of the nature? Or you want less of that so it looks like right here a tree has fallen across and we're going down the mountain so it makes like a canopy <laughs> and the forest is definitely getting darker and changing just like that clearly we're heading into another microclimate hear that noise that was an oropendula definitely heard the howlers or a pendula. But as I come down here, I guess it's because of the tree canopy. I can feel it just gets about five degrees cooler, just like that. Van is on the dash. It's moving day. We're going to leave this beautiful vista and this beautiful park. It's been very relaxing, right, Snow? Yeah, we stayed a few days and just relaxed and hung out in the hot springs. And they have nice showers. They're cold showers, but they're nice. And just stare up at the toucans and the monkeys. Yeah. Yeah, it's been good, guys. But this is where we're going to end the video. We appreciate you guys coming along. We need you guys to do us a favor. Head over to our Instagram page and give us a like. Really would like to see you over there. Yeah. Leave us a comment. That's how you keep in touch with us between videos is on Instagram. So we'll see you all in a few days. Cheers. If you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you know when we put out new videos. To see behind the scenes action and help support our journey, head over to our YouTube membership page. You can find the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in a few days.